So today we want to just give you a quick tip for creating multi-columns in the bill material tree. I'm going to select these few objects here and go to my bill material tab and I'm going to um, base my bill material based on the actor name, parent level is zero and I can choose the, the actual name of the part or a meta property description. In this case I'll do that and choose one call out per bill material ID and let's index that with actually a, a dash on here. So I'll go ahead and create my bill material IDs and then I can create my callouts. And maybe I want to index those in a different order so they come down in uh, A1, A2, etc. So I'll just A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8. And now if I go over in my bill material tree here, I can see my the meta property description and the bill material ID and the quantity. But if I open up this little tab here, I can do a lot more. I can add any property I want to this tab. So maybe I'll add the uh, actor color, uh, maybe the label name. And we'll go ahead and add another meta property of uh, weight. So I'll add that. And over in this column, I can change the order that I want. Maybe I want the quantity to be last. So I'll add that. I'll actually bring the color down a little bit too and then apply that. Now I can see I've got the, the items in order with the um, columns I want. And I can actually change the name of the columns if I wanted to too. I could rename the column even though um, it won't affect the quantities or the information in the column. So I'll go ahead and uh, create a little technical illustration there based on this. And make a quick preview and we see our new bill material with the description and the columns and the order that we chose and the information we chose to have in there. There's your quick tip for the day. Thanks.